Your grandfather was born in 1918. Yeah. Did he ever talk about how Haiti was like back in the days? No, we never had this conversation. He passed away, I was 13. Mm. So all I remember was his affection and, you know, how he was, you know, the feeling, you know. I can't remember a specific conversation. The one thing that I always remember, the fact that you see us, myself, or my parents, my dad, or my brothers, you will see us the same. I remember him always mentioning being humble. Right. You know, um, he always like, um, I remember him saying, when you're performing, give it all. Like, if it's one, one, one person, we met someone, give it all, because that's how you show that you respect the person, you respect the, the people that's there. Yeah, you definitely. have to give it all right. and always stay humble. So that's, I think, the fundamental things that he taught us as a, human being and then how to handle yourself in the business and you know. I mean I think that's what us comedians were, were brought up to because we know even if it's one person in the crowd you need to make that person laugh. Yeah and that's that's part of yes. Right and you know that's one thing that we live by. Um, another thing too Who used to whoop your ass? Your mom or your dad? My mom. Yeah? Yeah. So she was the disciplinary? A few times but I remember them. Yeah? Yeah, there were one time it was raining outside. Of course, we want to go out. We right. Wanna, well, je ne la plus. Je ne la plus. Right, right. La go. Right. So they went out, and then we were like, we're going. And then we went out. <laughs> <laughs> and then she came back, she saw us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, yeah. man. No, she, she, she did a number. Your dad wasn't too much. No, my dad. My dad was the one. He relax. He would do one thing, but Pitol te bato. Yeah. He would do one thing that used to drive me crazy. He used to like one finger mm -hmm. and then he push your head like, <laughs> like this. <son. laughs> no, Pitol te bato. I go, yeah. my God, I hate it so. I hate it when he do when he. Used your to do mom that. is also one of the most recognizable figures in Haiti as well. Having lived in the United States, do you think patriarchy in Haiti is different from the U.S.? Um, I think it is. I think um, living here makes people more like you want to, from, what, from my experience, from what I see and people I talk to, it, it feels like they want people see a, a, a system. They, they could see structure in things, and they would be like, oh, maybe we can bring that. You know, that part, you know, that Haitian part, you were like, okay, we want to fix that. But once you're inside Haiti, you know, you, you only, you know, that, you know, patriotic part of yourself, you only, you so inside, you only can talk about, you know, the slavery part, but you can never... You know, pas mm -hmm. So well, I we, see. The reason why I kept this is because I feel like women in Haiti run shit. Yeah. Like in a sense where I always say this: you can tell how sexist a society is just by their language. Mm -hmm. For example, in in English, you say "men up." Yo, men, men up and do this. Yeah. There's no woman up. Yeah. Like, woman up is, you know, it sounds bad. Yeah, like, yeah, hey, yo, yeah, woman yeah. up. Even in French, there's no men up. Yeah. I mean, there's no woman up. But in Haiti, you don't have to say, yo, mid from Mid from so. Mid from so give men power as mid gas so. And even in history, 30% of Lame indigenous are composed of femmes. Yeah. So women are very much an integral part of our society. Yo, let let us go say guys on keep that guy la. In Haiti, when I was growing up, I didn't see that. And where from the two jobs that they learn? Right. Yeah, say fun. Yeah, and and one interesting thing about our language also in Creole, we don't have any gender in it. We don't. You know, so that means how much we show, you know, the equality between, you know, women and men. And right. And one thing also, when someone is going through something, sometimes they say, Bon Dieu, my mom. Right. Bon Dieu, my mom. Right. You know? Like, we don't, it's not, it's not a, 
Yeah, yeah Bondi, right. is, Bondi is not a, a man to us. It's not a man. Right. It's, not, it's just what that person is feeling. Right. You know, and IT Shiri. Uh, yeah, you woman. call it always mother. Right. Know? Yeah. Our language is is very much even. Yeah, it's even. And it's even. and it, funny thing is, in my WhatsApp group, on parle bon gars sur WhatsApp là, et puis n'a parlé, et puis n'est-ce que tu as dit que there's a law in Haiti where where if the woman catches you cheating in the house, she's allowed to whoop your ass. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, right. I, 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 wow. I, I told him I would look it up, but they always say, yo, that, that's, that's, a, that's a real that's law. A law. Okay. Like, if she catches you cheating, she's allowed to, she's allowed to whoop that whoop, ass. Yeah. With your police, you have to make I'm sure that like... you get that ass whooping, <laughs> like, fairly. <laughs> and to me, I thought that was very interesting. That's and interesting. this is, like, well, most of, the, most of that... Most of those rules change when the United States invaded Haiti. Okay. And they say they they pretty much started to, you know, impose their own sexism into our society. Because yes. at one point, I mean, they put out the parliament at gunpoint. They told all of them to, to come out because, at, you know, in Haiti, white people was not were not allowed to buy land. Yeah. yeah. And the United they States changed that. changed that. Yeah. You know, because you have to be in the house and you have to be in the house. You know, um... So I thought that was kind of... Um, That's interesting. That was interesting. That's, 